Evening fellow coin collectors, Coin Snatcher here with another quick video update on the 50p collection. So in front of you, you will see two red trays. Uh, this tray is from 1998. It starts off with the EU commemorative 50p and it goes the whole way through. You've got the, uh, the Kew Gardens there. You've got every single coin, every commemorative one that's been released. Uh, you've got the fourth portrait. Uh, Battle of Britain, uh, or sorry, the fifth portrait Battle of Britain. I haven't put the fourth portrait in this run, but we do have three or four of them. Uh, then we've got all the coins starting off there, 2016 with the Beatrix Potter ones, and it goes on so forth, so through. You've got the 2017 Isaac Newton, and then if we go down to another line, we'll have the 2018 Isaac Newton in there as well. So sorry, there's 2017 there, that's 2018, and it works its way through. We've got two Sherlock Holmes, because one of those is a clipped Sherlock Holmes, and works its way down right up to the most recent coin release. So the most recent coin release was the Charles Babbage 50p, and that has been sitting in this little space here. However, uh, an unexpected delivery arrived today. So when I got home from work, I found one of our regular uh, white envelopes had arrived. And it can only mean one thing. It's from the Westminster collection. So I opened up the envelope and you get the usual old stuff inside it. You got the change checker card. So the first thing I'd do is bin that because there's no value in that. Second thing I'd do is have a look at the advertising uh, pamphlet that they send with it and this one is 100% up to standard it's really really good this is excellent roach material I thoroughly recommend it for anybody who likes to smoke use this for your roach material very good so we'll keep that over to the side that will come in useful and inside this pack we were also lucky enough to get a change checker trading card so we'll uh, scratch that off in a little minute and we'll use a coin that you wouldn't expect to use to scratch off one of those just for a bit of fun and uh, then finally the coin that arrived was the most recent coin to be released in the Winnie the Pooh series and this one is Owl so it does come in a little blue uh, udder like that I've relieved it of its uh, blue casing and there we go that's the coin there so nice nice picture of owl uh, i really like my birds so uh, uh, nice to see an owl on the 50p very happy with that now i did have charles babbage sitting in this space but i've popped him out and i've decided i'm going to put owl in there instead so i'll go in there and then i think the third one that's going to be released is tigger so tigger will go in there and that will be a run now of, if you exclude that one, it would be 79 coins in a row that have been released from the Royal Mint from 1998. So that's really, really cool. Uh, just to, on a secondary note, uh, the first Winnie the Pooh coin that was released a while ago, I won that one on the change checker ballot, so that one only cost me 50p. And this one that arrived today, I also won in the face ballot, so that was proper cool. I uh, got the invoice here, and there you go, UK Owl ballot winner, 50p, so free postage, you just pay 50p for the coin. Really, really cool, really happy with that, so big thanks to Westminster Collection, and yes, I am hoping to make it a 3 out of 3, <laughs> and get Tigger for 50p as well. I guess we can dream to a certain extent. So, just for a bit of fun, uh, these change checker cards are quite cool. Sometimes I seem to get a run where I get one in, in every envelope and then it goes dry for a few, uh, few deliveries and I don't get any. So it's always nice to get one, especially when it came with a coin that cost 50p. So, I thought, uh, seeing as that was a bit of fun, let's pop out a coin that's quite nice. And uh, let's have a look at this. So for any of you folks that are new to 50p collecting or you haven't seen one of these before and you've heard the term but you don't know what it is, this is a PA4 coin. It's French, it's spelt P-I-E-D-F-O-R-T. It's pronounced in England or the UK, Pideford by most people, but it is in fact a French word and it's pronounced PA4. 
and a pay for is a double thickness coin. Uh, they were normally struck and given, I think, as gifts between kings, hence uh, PA4. So this one is the 2003 WSPU, and this weighs in at a hefty 16 grams. It's quite a chunk of silver. So uh, let's get it down in the card. And we'll give it a scratch off, and we'll see what we've got. Now this looks like Olympic. Is it the pentathlon or something like that? Yep. There we go. So that's another little card we'll uh, add into my collection. And there's the PA 450P. So these coins aren't actually that expensive to buy. They're, they're rarer than the standard silver proof coins. The mintages are lower. But there's not as many collectors of PA4 coins. Because there's not as many collectors, it affects uh, the basic principles of supply and demand. So while these coins are rarer than their 8, uh, eight gram silver proof counterparts, you can pick them up for very reasonable prices. So nice coin there. Uh, you're, uh, for anybody who's tutting and going, oh, he's handling a coin like that, he's handling a coin. I've always handled this coin. This was the first PA4 coin that I bought and I've handled it from the day I got it because I always wanted to feel what the way it was like. You can still feel the sharp edges on this one and uh, I could probably give that a clean with a little something and it would come up quite nice again. But yeah, that one, uh, you know, you just if you're going to handle a coin like that, there's no point in complaining about it, so I don't. So if anyone looks at my 50p collection and asks me what a PA4 coin is, I'll quite happily take this one out and let them handle it, let them have a look at it etc if you compare that one to the owl 50p you can see the difference in thickness between the two coins so standard coin and pa4 coin really really nice so that's it for tonight guys it was just a quick one it was an unexpected one tonight where i'd totally forgotten that i'd won that ballot so it's a nice uh, nice little video to do so there we go one more coin to go in there and we've got two full trays and then i'll get a third tray and we'll get going on that as well so that's it for now peace and love coin snatcher out